many of you already know that VS Code comes with an awesome source control Git integration. As an open source developer, a lot of my workflow has to do with GitHub. For example, here is a project that I created called Create Guten Block. It's fairly popular. And Timothy here has submitted a pull request that I need to review. As you can see, before I can get to it, Ajit started reviewing it. And there are some comments going on here and whatnot. So now, in my personal workflow, what I need to do is I need to go to the file chain and take a look at this code. But I am not used to this particular syntax highlighting. I'm used to this syntax highlighting as compared to this one. This is my theme, Shades of Purple. So what I have ended up doing is I've built this complex bash related setup where I go ahead and search for the PR number and I clone this particular PR as a branch in my local directory to take a look at the code and then I go back and then I start reviewing this particular PR. Well, as you can see, just reviewing a single pull request has a lot of moving parts to it. But you know what? You can actually improve this workflow. What you can do is, press command shift X or go to your extensions area and search for GitHub pull requests. You will end up with this particular extension, which is actually made by GitHub itself. It was launched today. Yeah, that is how up to date this course is. Anywho, back to the point, let's go ahead and install this extension. Now reload. As soon as I reloaded Visual Studio Code, I got this notification. I need to sign into GitHub to use the pull request functionality. So I'm going to click here. Let's authorize Visual Studio Code to access GitHub. Once you do it, you will see this particular screen, and now you can go back here. You are now signed into GitHub. And if you take a look at the bottom here, I have a GitHub icon and my GitHub username here. Also, if I open up the terminal, I can confirm that this is actually the clone of that same create Guten block repository. So now what I can do is I can go to the Git integration, the source control view here. And down at the bottom, you will see GitHub pull requests. Let's drag the sucker up. I'm going to take a look at all of the pull requests in this particular repository. And here is that particular pull request I was interested in. I'm going to click on description. And here it is, the description and all the comments and whatnot. How about we go ahead and check out this particular pull request? Well, boy, it's now checked out. And it has opened up this comments panel where I can easily go through all of the comments. For example, this pull request has to do with this particular file and Ajit has started a review. Let's click here and goddamn. So I'm actually looking at the code inside of that particular pull request. And here is that review comments that Ajit started. Super impressed. I think I can respond to this review as well. Any updates? Think emoji. Let's press, I'm pressing command enter. <gasps> and it has been posted. I don't believe this. Let me take a look here. <gasps> it is actually posted 17 seconds ago. Okay, okay, folks. Pardon my French here, but holy shit. I'm looking at the comments from a person who is not involved in my project in the code which belongs to a particular pull request of an open source project right inside of my code editor. That has nothing to do with all of this. In my opinion, this is some next level stuff. Mad props and kudos to the teams behind Code and GitHub who created this extension. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's open the source control view, pressing Command J to toggle the panel, and let's take a look at this particular PR. There's this tick symbol in front of the current branch if you are checked out to a particular PR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out to this particular PR, and as soon as that happens, the tick appears in front of this particular PR and it's gone from here. And I can confirm this as well. I'm going to press Command T, and right now, if I type git branch, I'm inside a branch called PR, and the author of that particular PR, and the number of that particular PR, 84. Let's go back and take a look here. PR actually fixes a typo. It looks like I have a typo here. Let's take a look at what files this particular PR affects. And all of these files are affected. Let me open this up. This is what I had before. And this is what this PR is going to bring into my code. And I can easily go through all of the other fixes and confirm that this PR actually looks like the thing I want. So this PR looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and approve this PR. Okay, so I have approved these changes. And now I can easily exit out of this review mode. It's going to ask me which branch it needs to go back to. I'm going to type master. And if I open my terminal and search for git branch, 
I'm back on the master. Super, super, super impressed with this extension. So just go ahead and install this extension. It is called GitHub pull request. It is going to be a bit rough around the edges because it is still in the preview mode, but it's an extension worth having in your VS Code. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is actually part of the course that I'm launching. It's called VS Code.pro. Go to VS Code.pro, put your email ID here and sign up. And I'm going to make sure that you become a VS Code power user. If like me and thousands of the developers, you like this particular theme that I'm using, it is called Shades of Purple. It is a theme that I actually built from scratch for VS Code. Beyond that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Use your code for good.